cannot get a pastor there who wants to be anointed. Hey! 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 hey. Take it! You're anointed. Let me get someone here who wants to marry that side. One person wants to marry. Now I'll stop now. Run forward, sister. You know, you, you are the second from this, sister. Come. How old are you? I'm just asking you. Huh? You can hear? How old? 38. 38. I wanted to take from her that if she's of that age and she's still believing, you are younger, why are you giving up? Why do you have to give up? There are people who are six years, they want to marry. Seven years. They want to be 80. Want to get married. Yourself, you are very young. How old are you? 33. Whom do you want to marry? I don't have anyone. Sister? Let's ask sister. Anyone. Eh? I don't have anyone. Yes. If you people want to marry, I will advise you. What you need to do, you don't need friends. You hear me? You don't need friends. Friends, they influence people. You hear me, sister? Yes. Are you hearing me? You people, you don't need friends. Once you have a friend, when a brother comes to approach you, you have to tell your friend now. And your friend will never allow you to have a better brother than for myself. I know this thing. A friend. If you want to marry, you're a sister or you're a brother. Brother, you don't need a friend. Normally, brothers, they don't do that. They don't inquire from another one. Sisters are the ones who make mistakes. When you say someone, okay, is speaking with you, he wants to marry you, you don't need to ask a sister friend. If you do that, you have invited Sata. Because this friend of yours here will never allow you to marry a brother you want. Sometimes you find that Uta do me the most common sense you want to say strong too much. Oh, you see, you, a handsome guy is coming and then from there always your friend will say something. He will say, no, he doesn't have money. You will suffer. There comes another one of money but he's not handsome. He say, why do you want to have children who are ugly? Always there will be issues from your friend. You people here, many of you here, you are, you are affected by your friends. You are supposed now, sister, are you hearing me? Yes. Eh? yes. You hear me? Yes. yes. Your friends now, for you to reach 37 is not normal. It's not normal. To reach 37, 33 is not normal. I mean, you must change how you walk. You change friends. The first thing, you change friends. Second thing, you change how you walk. If you want to marry, you, you change, listen, you, you look around yourself. Are you hearing me, sister? You? You hear me? This one? Eh? Yes. You look around your friends. You turn around. You say, oh, no, I've got this one. What is she saying about men? I've got this one. What she, I'm, I'm sure you're hearing me. It's part of your deliverance. Amen. The first person you can consult is your parent. There, there's someone who's disturbing me. I mean, you know how to present your... You say, I don't know. If you feel you love the person, consult your mom. Your mom, or if you're close to your father, go to your father and say, I don't know if I'm right to get married, but there's someone. If you feel like you're afraid to tell your parents very fast. It's very good also to consult your pastor. Your pastor won't have jealousy with you. But now, if you just say, sorry, my friend, your friend will just say, one more, one more, what, one more, one more. One more, one more. I'm telling you now. And many of you now, you have been proposed several times, but you denied the people that God sent. Now you are looking somewhere now. You are looking somewhere. When you are sleeping now, you say, God, 
there's this brother, oh Lord, oh Lord, he must talk. He will never talk. Because the ones that go send, you ask friends. The ones that go send, you did what? You ask friends. You were supposed to have asked God from the beginning. God, what about this one? God will tell you, this one is a drunkard. You don't need him. Okay, this one, yes, is responsible, but it's not your husband. You need to do that. I'm, I, when my daughter, she, when she went to get married, I became so close and check. I check. When I see people were coming, others have got money. I end up telling her that your husband is going to be a poor person. Don't even look there. Don't look there. Another one who's a musician here in South Africa was coming close to my daughter. I said, that one, if you marry, you're going to be in a church of two hours. If you go there, the pastor will just say, hello, uh, now, uh, are you ready to worship? And the pastor is standing like this. One way. When he dances, he dances like this. <laughs> and when he pray, no pray for people, nothing. I say, my daughter, you know, you grew up here when I'm praying for people. You get bored there. You, get, you even fall from the grace. I say, the man that will marry you is tall with the rickets and is going to be a prophet. He is a person who is suffering. Oh, one day after my daughter Mary Andres, I call her and say, Hosa, she came. I ask her, now, do you want to leave him now? Hi, I love him so much. I say, in the beginning, in the beginning, ha, ah, he's suffering. Oh no, it's my brother. She was telling me that he's my brother. I say, he's the one. I'm sure you understand either. Please, let's tell our young people, they must not marry for money. They must not marry for what? Or profession. You must not ask friends. Friends, they will throw you away. Come on, you demon who doesn't want to marry. This is a demon, this one. Put a mic in this lady. This is a demon. It's a demon, this one. It's a demon. Why you don't want her to marry? Huh? Why you don't want this lady to marry? What? Huh? What? Toma. Disappointments are over. In Jesus' name. 